Hello, Mark Crossfield here. We've got another swing sent to me via my iPhone app called Golf. Uh, decent looking swing, good movements here. A little bit of too much hip rotation coming from straightening the right knee. That just pushed the hands a little bit too far behind you on the backswing. So um, let's take a look and see if we can give this guy some help. Here we go, lots of good movements in this swing. Um, what we see, it's quite subtle, but if you just watch his legs as he makes his back swing, we see this kind of space happening, this daylight uh, coming between his two legs. That's where the right knee just straightens. Now from this camera angle, I can't quite see. Often that's when people are loading more on their left side. What happens is the right leg extends, the right hip comes up, so you get a big hip rotation. The large hip rotation then allows you to get your hands quite a long way behind your right shoulder, where ideally you'd want your hands a little bit over your right shoulder. So for you to sort the back swing out, I want you to start thinking a little bit more about what your hips are doing and certainly what your right knee is doing on the back swing. So look, what we're seeing from you, it's common. It's certainly much easier on your body to do what you're doing. It's a very common fault that I see, is you're turning, but you're kind of turning everything. So on the back swing, what we're seeing is that kind of action. So the hip term is big, maybe 50, 60 degrees of hip turn, right knee straightens. I feel certainly loading more on my left foot when I do that, but you don't have to, you can still load on your right foot, but common to load on the left foot as you do that. Uh, and that pushes my hands much more behind my right shoulder. I want you to feel as you make your back swing that your right knee stays pretty still. So start in a good posture, you feel the flex in your two knees. Now as you make your back swing, just try and feel that your right knee stays pointing forwards and it maintains some of that flex. So actually feel like you're turning into that right knee. What you're gonna find, it restricts the backswing in how far back it goes. It restricts the backswing in how far back also it goes. It'll tend to send the club up. So by restricting in that right knee, it'll help you get a little bit more on plane on the backswing. Also what will happen is it'll feel quite tense. It'll feel quite coiled. Where for you at the moment, by turning everything to that large degree, there's no real coil there, it's just a big movement. And a big movement requires another big movement for you to get in sync, so it's, it's asking a lot. So I want you to keep your shoulder turn, but try and take that hip turn down, so you get the shoulders turning against the hip, and do that all by turning around that right knee. So for me, if I set up to the ball, what I'm gonna feel, if I was you doing this, which I'd advise you to have a go, right knee, I can feel it pointing forward at the beginning, I can feel it slightly flex, top of my back swing. I want to feel that it's still pointing forward, so not straightening and starting to turn out to the right here. Um, and I feel that I'm turning my weight into that right knee. Then as soon as I get up to the top of my backswing, just let the right knee go, because you want the right knee to fire on the way down. So turn into your right knee, and then through. It will certainly help you get on plane without having to think too much about swinging straighter back and all those kind of things. Good swing, lots of good movements in there. Thanks for sending, hope that helps. Let me know, post comments. Um, always like to hear your comments, guys. If you've had this problem, share with us how you fixed it. Be really interested to hear, and we'll see you all in the next video.